One of the amazing things about Coding Rooms is that it equally supports live in-person teaching and learning, as well as asynchronous online teaching and learning, in all the combinations of those things. One of the ways that we do that is with our presentation mode. If you're live in person or online, this is the best way to support your learners with a live session, doing code demonstrations, and presenting to them your Coding Rooms page to demonstrate code, correct answers, and more. The presentation mode icon is over on the right-hand side of your screen. You'll see if there are any current active presentations, maybe because you teach with some other instructors in your course. You can start new sessions by selecting the learners, sections, individuals that you want to start the presentation with. Yes, that means that you can start a presentation with just one student. And then you can choose to have the presentation view where you, we split the screen video conferencing, and following the presentation. Following the presentation will force learners to go to the page that you are on in the presentation as the instructor, preventing them from going and working on other things uh, and other pages. They're forced to stay where you're presenting so they can pay attention. And then, of course, you can name the presentation. So it's easier for you to refer back to and reopen that presentation and also for learners, because learners can open previous presentations to check out that code demo demonstration or whatever you, it is you need to do. Past presentations you can close if you don't want learners to open them. And you can also start up past presentations to continue where you left off. Start a pre starting a presentation is easy. Just click Start New Presentation. Your screen will split into the presentation view. And if you have video conferencing on, the video conferencing window will show up. You can move this video conferencing window wherever you need, resize it, and make it full screen. If you accidentally start the presentation and have video conferencing on, it's as easy as clicking the switch to turn it off without having to leave the presentation. You still have access to the lightning grader in presentation mode where you can open up a student's page while you are presenting. And you can also open the grid view while you're presenting to check out all the different learners in a grid while you're demonstrating some code to them monitoring if they have any errors or need any help. What does this look like from the learner side? Let's check it out. They see your presentation and their own work side by side so that they can follow along. For example, here I am the teacher presenting some code. The student can see that in the presentation view. They can see me moving around, typing, editing code, and running code. They can also see the graphical desktop window and other things without being able to interact with your code. That's right. They can't edit the presentation. It will prevent them. And they can't mess with your desktop or mess with anything else. All they can do is observe what you are doing. And this is all while they can follow along in their own workspace with you. Again, you can open up and you can check out student work, help them, all live in real time right in the presentation view. And when you're done, simply end the presentation. Or if you want to leave another admin in the presentation, while you, you leave it, you can just leave the presentation. The most efficient way to present code to your learners is right here with presentation mode and coding rooms. Side by side inside the same window, learners can follow what you're presenting, what you're demonstrating to them, and see their own code to the right hand side.
there's no better way to follow along with a coding lesson.